Welcome to the first Splatoon 2 News Roundup video of 2019. Hopefully you guys had a good Christmas and New Year period. I definitely did. In this video, I will be rounding up all of the Splatoon 2 news that has dropped over the last couple of weeks. The first topic of this video is that on the 28th of December, the Octo Expansion art book got released in Japan. We have got some interesting sort of little bits coming from this art book. Unfortunately, the 270 page book hasn't been translated into English at this moment in time, so we don't know all of the lore details that has been included in this art book and to be honest with you I don't think there is any chance of it being officially translated into English we are just hoping that someone that has picked up the art book in the West we are hoping that one of them has learned a little bit of Japanese so that they can translate the art book into English so that fans of the game can get to know what is included in this art book but one thing that is clear from the images in the octo expansion art book is that nintendo did have plans to add in more octoling hairstyles to the game than the ones that we got in the art book it does show off eight hairstyles in total four for each gender of course in the game at the moment we only have four in total across both genders could we possibly be getting the rest of the octoling hairstyles that are featured in the art book they look really cool by the way i would definitely love to see those hairstyles get added to the game could nintendo have been saving the rest of the hairstyles that haven't been used could nintendo be releasing the rest of those hairstyles in 2019 or is this just a case of this is just early designs for the octolings and nintendo decided against using the other half of the early designs that they did come up with they thought you know what those designs they aren't that good at all we prefer the other four let's put these four in the game and scrap the other four i really hope we do get more octoling hairstyles but unfortunately i don't think we will get to see these hairstyles that are featured in the octo expansion art book i think these are just early designs and that is it i don't think we will be getting the other four at a later date but it was definitely cool to see more octoling hairstyles in the art book it just will be really cool though if we actually got to see them in the actual game itself but updates big updates in particular have ended in december so yeah i just don't think we will get the rest of the octoling hairstyles but who knows maybe in the january direct that we probably will be getting for the switch which we will probably get from nintendo soon maybe in that direct maybe we could be getting a splatoon 2 trailer in there saying that yeah we will be getting more updates it will include more octoling hairstyles the octoling hairstyles that were featured in the octo expansion art book but i just don't think that will happen i kind of got the feeling that if nintendo wanted to put those hairstyles in the game we would have already seen those hairstyles i don't think nintendo if they did have plans to add in more octoling hairstyles i don't think this art book would have been the first time we would have seen these hairstyles i think nintendo would have revealed it in a trailer in a direct but let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below do you think this could pave the way for us to get more octoling hairstyles or are you like myself these are just early designs next week on the channel i will be rounding up more stuff from this octo expansion art book hopefully by that time we will get an official translation when we do get either just a official translation or a fan translation then i will bring 
all of those details from the 270 page art book I do believe is how big it is I will be bringing those translations to the channel when we do get them but let's just move on to other topics in this video now over the Christmas period we got a system update that brought the switch up to 4.3.1 and apparently this update did improve the anti-cheat system on the switch and apparently a lot of the people that have modded their switch that have put hacks into games like splatoon 2 for example apparently a lot of those people that have modded their switch have been getting banned from their switch and in other news it is now illegal in japan to modify save data on your switch as well this means we will probably see less japanese hackers although i didn't really run into many japanese hackers on the switch i'm going to be honest and say i haven't run into any hackers playing splatoon 2 so hacking hasn't really been a problem for me but maybe hacking will be even less of a problem moving forward thanks to the changes Nintendo has made to the anti-cheat system on the Switch. We got some Christmas Splatoon art from Nintendo to celebrate Christmas. It is Summer Run themed and this is the message we got alongside it. Merry Christmas, a greeting card just arrived at the lab and this year it's from a salmonid researcher. These usually noisy salmonids seem to be enjoying their cozy holiday break. And yeah, I am definitely a fan of the art. It looks really good. Also, we got some New Year art as well. So that is cool things that we did get to celebrate the New Year from Nintendo in terms of Splatoon 2. The January ranked stages have been released by Nintendo. I will be putting them on screen now. Now I'm not sure whether this is available for America and Europe but Splatoon themed postcards are now available as my Nintendo I do believe they are platinum coin rewards so hopefully if they aren't available for the West hopefully they will be available as platinum rewards really soon smash ultimate has already overtaken the total lifetime sales of splatoon 2 in the uk that does disappoint me a little bit just because i am a fan of splatoon 2 i would have hoped that more people would have picked up the game in the uk it doesn't seem to be as popular in the uk but on the other hand smash ultimate has a much wider profile it has a much longer legacy compared to splatoon an ip that only did get released in 2015 so there isn't that sort of nostalgia there for splatoon compared to smash ultimate i'm sure a lot of people picked up smash ultimate having played something like melee or something like brawl back in the day so maybe that is why a lot of people have picked up Smash Ultimate in the UK. You've got a combination of all of Nintendo's franchises as well as the third party lineup in there as well. So it definitely does have a much bigger appeal when you look at it that way. So maybe those sales are a little bit more understandable but yeah it would have been cool if splatoon 2 did sell more in the uk i guess this does show though how successful smash ultimate is it is probably going to be the biggest selling switch game in total it is just mega popular but yeah it is a little bit surprising that it has already outsold splatoon 2 in the uk already moving on to the last thing that i quickly want to mention is that the frosty fest splatfest will be kicking off at the same time worldwide it will be kicking off 2 p.m for people living on the west coast of america that works out to be 5 p.m for people living on the east coast of america that works out to be 10 p.m in the evening for people living in the uk that works out to be 11 p.m for people living in the rest of europe that is this friday that is when the splatfest will be kicking off 
Now, because the Splatfest will be kicking off at the same time, it means that you guys in America will not have to wait for like five or six hours for the results. The results will be coming out at the usual two hour sort of period when the Splatfest does end. So when the Splatfest does end at the same time that I did mention earlier, you will only have to wait two hours to get the Splatfest results. Now the reason why I am mentioning this in this video is that the results will be coming out at midnight my time. It will take me or it would have taken me around about another hour to get the video uploaded. So my Splatfest results video, I'm not really sure if I will make one because by the time that I do get to make one, it will be uploaded around about eight or nine hours later than when the results did go live. So I'm not really sure if I will upload the results onto my channel. Let me know in the comment section below whether you would still want me to upload the results even if they are coming out or if the video did get released like nine hours after when the results did get uploaded. I'm not really sure whether I will upload that video or not. I definitely do want your feedback on that in the comment section below. But that is pretty much it for this news roundup video. I can't wait to go through all of the rest of the stuff from that Octo Expansion art book in another video. So yeah, Frosty Fest will be kicking off tomorrow. I can't wait to play on it myself. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you in my next one, hopefully.